Typer is a library for easily building powerful command line interfaces in Python. Rather than specifying the valid CLI arguments as you would with argparse, Typer infers the arguments from the underlying functions. Typer relies on Python 3.6 type hints to correctly typecast the CLI arguments. Here we'll build a Typer app which prints the latest weather conditions on Mars. Thanks to the NASA Insight Lander, we can get these weather measurements through a simple API call. First, we'll create our Typer app, followed by two sub apps called Pressure App and Temperature App. We'll then add these sub apps to the main Typer app. The name keyword argument determines the CLI command. We'll see this in practice later. We'll make sure our app can run in the terminal by adding the if name equals main conditional and calling app. Next, we'll get the relevant Martian weather data by calling the NASA API, filtering out any non-weather data and accessing the weather data for the most recent Martian day, also referred to as a SOL. Now that we have the weather data, we'll add a command to the Typer app to display the current season in either the northern or southern hemisphere. We'll define a function called season and decorate it with app.command to indicate that the function is part of the Typer app. If you're unfamiliar with decorators, check out our decorators video. Season will take a hemisphere argument and will return the current season in the corresponding hemisphere. However, there are only two valid arguments for hemisphere, namely north and south. To make this explicit, we'll define a class called Hemisphere, which inherits from the built-in enum type. We can then define the acceptable values for Hemisphere. We set the type of the Hemisphere argument to be the Hemisphere enum we just made and access the value property of the argument. Now Typer will only allow North or South as valid arguments. We can run the application in the terminal. If we pass an invalid argument to Hemisphere, Typer will throw an error. Also, calling help will tell us what the valid arguments are. Next, we'll set up commands to access the atmospheric pressure and temperature readings for the current SOL. This is where the Pressure app and Temperature app we defined at the beginning come in. For now, we'll focus on the Pressure app, since the temperature implementation is very similar. We'll add a maximum and minimum command to the pressure app, which will access the maximum and minimum pressure values respectively. However, these weather measurements are not guaranteed to exist for every given soul. We'd like to first check if the data is available and exit gracefully if not, rather than throwing an error. We can accomplish this by adding a callback function to the pressure app. This function will run before any commands, allowing us to check if the pressure data exists and exit if it does not. Finally, we'll add the corresponding temperature commands, which follow our pressure implementation very closely. Now we can access the maximum or minimum pressure or temperature for the current SOL in the command line. If you want to know more about this pattern, you'd like to discuss it, or you'd like to write your own patterns, check out Patternite. The link is down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.